Greetings from Glory Day Lutheran Church here in Tomo, Wisconsin. Pastor Dave uh, here. And I just wanted to share with you a few things about the Easter season. Do you know that the Easter season is a full 50 days long? Seven full weeks plus an, another Sunday. Uh, and it bridges that time when not only was Jesus raised from the dead, but he was walking amongst people and many people. And I'm, so I'm going to just... Uh, dive into a little bit of uh, Paul's letter to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 where he explains this and he explains just how many witnesses there were. So from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, I'm going to begin at verse 3. For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures and that he appeared to Peter, and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers at the same time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, and then to the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me also as to one abnormally born. I'm going to end it there. Yeah, so you can see. Paul is explaining that this is not something that Jesus did in a corner, that God did in a corner. This was, uh, 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 Jesus was fully alive, walking around, uh, uh, visiting with many people in the flesh uh, before he ascended into heaven. And uh, what, Jesus, what, what uh, Paul is bringing out here is that Jesus is real. He does what he says he does. He is fully the Son of God. And uh, that you can take confidence in this. And though life may be difficult, you know that Jesus has you because he does what he says he does. That your, that, that, uh, your past can be forgiven, that your, that your uh, present can be made manageable, and that your future is secure, as we went through on su this last Sunday. So in the same way, take confidence in that, uh, that when you read the scriptures, especially in the New Testament, you're reading an eyewitness account that these things were written during the time when the original witnesses were still alive, when they, when they uh, were fully aware of what, what was being written down and could fully collaborate uh, uh, all of the evidence. So, uh, uh, so take confidence as you read the scriptures uh, that this stuff is real. Uh, it's not something that, was, uh, that has been made up in any way. Jesus is real. The Bible is the word of God, and it's real. Uh, and uh, and uh, in that, you know that God is with you, that uh, your future is secure in him. And so with that, let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your great faithfulness all the way through the scriptures, uh, that um, uh, as you kept your promises in the past, so you keep them in the present. Uh, and knowing that as Jesus is raised from the dead, so shall we. And that uh, we, too, uh, have been made witnesses to your resurrection as you have come to us in our hearts. So, Lord, I pray for those who are struggling with anything today, that you indeed would give them the peace that passes all understanding, as you promise. That they would know that they can cast all their anxieties on you because you care for them, as your word reminds us. Uh, and that as you were raised... For, uh, from the dead, so shall we. And therefore, uh, Lord, you have secured our future. So gracious God, we, uh, we place our lives again fully into your hands uh, and uh, entrusting you uh, with all that we have and all that we are, knowing that you are faithful to do what you say. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Take great courage today. Uh, there's, uh, cast all your anxiety on God, and uh, you will find him to be very faithful. With that, uh, let us all keep and live the faith. So until next time.